Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video I'm going to talk about the Stephen King that I've read. First of all, um, as is fitting for a, a, a and a video about a prolific horror writer. I am having a horror show with my hair, so please excuse the horror. This is what happens when you put it in plaits while it's damp and forgetting that you need to do things. Um, anyway, I was watching Ollie over at Criminally. I was watching his videos a couple of weeks ago and he did a video about uh, Stephen King and his success over the last five decades of book releases. Um, because he has been releasing for 50 years now. His first release was in 1974. And it inspired me to take a look at my own reading of his works. Because I say that I'm a Stephen King fan. However, the last 15, 20 years, I haven't actually read that many books. And the ones that I have read have been rereads. I think in the last 15 years, I've only read one new to me Stephen King book. So, let's have a talk about the books and some of the stats, shall we? I do have a Stephen King favourites video. I will link that in the cards for you. So you can go and have a look and see which ones that I say are my absolute favourites. I'm only going to talk about his fiction works. I am not going to talk about his screenplays or his works of non-fiction. Um, screenplays and non-fiction are not my bag, so I'm never going to reach for them anyway, so I am only thinking about his full-on fiction novels and novellas and short story collections. In total, since 1974, he has released 77 works of fiction. 65 of those are novels or novellas, and 12 of them are short story collections. Of those 77, I have 30 of them, and in total, I have read around about 34% of the books that he has released. I have seven books on my um, e-reader and shelves that I haven't read before. Um, I will go into them a bit later on. Like I said, He's released books in every decade since the 70s. Um, so let's talk about the, um, the numbers there. I have read two books from the 70s, six books released in the 80s, eight books released in the 90s, seven books released in the noughties, and three books released in the 2010s. I haven't read any books that have been released in the 2020s. So which books have I read, I hear you ask? Well, let's go through them one by one, shall we? And I'm going to do this in the order of the year they were published. The earliest work that I have read is Salem's Lot, published in 1975. I've read The Stand, which was originally published in 1978. However, I've read the unabridged version, which was released in the mid-90s. I've read The Gunslinger from 1982. Pet Cemetery from 1983, It from 1986, which is the book of his that has scared me the most, The Drawing of the Three, Misery, and The Tommyknockers, which were all released in 1987, The Wastelands, released in 1990, Needful Things, released in 1991, Insomnia, released in 1994, Rose Madder, released in 1995, the Green Mile and Desperation, which were both released in 1996. Wizard and Glass from 1997. Bag of Bones from 1998. Dreamcatcher from 2001. Wolves of the Calla from 2003. Song of Susanna and the Dark Tower, both released in 2004. Lizzie's Story from 2006. Juma Key from 2008. Under the Dome from 2009. 11 from 2011, Elevation from 2018, and then the only short story collection that I've read was Full Dark, No Stars, and that was released in 2010. So what about the books that I own that I have never read before? Well, I can show you two of those. The oldest on my shelves is The Institute, which is from um, 2019. 
and the most recent physical copy is Fairy Tale, which is from 2022. And the four that are on my Kindle are Cujo from 1981, The Wind Through the Keyhole from 2012, Finders Keepers from 2015, and the short story collection that I have is Hearts and Atlantis from 1999. So, shall we set me a little task? I think that we should say, and actually I realised that that is actually only six books that I haven't read. Um, I thought I had five on my Kindle that were unread, but actually one of those is A Bag of Bones, and I did actually read that a lot of years ago. So, shall we set myself a little task? I think that I should read at least one out of the Institute and Fairy Tale before the end of the year. And I think that I should read Hearts and Atlantis by the end of the year. And then either, I think potentially either The Wind Through the Keyhole or Cujo. So let's try and reduce that down by half, shall we? So half the number of um, books on my uh, physical shelves and half the number of books that are on my Kindle. And I'll come back and revisit that at the end of the year. I think that I will add it in to my goals. I can't talk with any eloquence in the way that uh, Ollie did about um, Stephen King's success over those years. So I have left his channel linked down below for you. And I did also add it into the cards, the video about that he where he talked about Stephen King. So if that's something you think that might interest you, then please do go and check that out. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me in your feed. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.